have a Ferris wheel and Ferris wheels are a popular way to show how uh, trig functions can be used in a real life situation. So our Ferris wheel has a 52 foot diameter, turns at a rate of two revolutions per minute. So that means the period is 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds, it does a full circle. Um, it's five feet off the ground, so that's the minimum. And let's see, we want to know the height after 50 seconds into the ride. Okay, let's look at an illustration here. Okay, here's our Ferris wheel. And we're interested in these heights. All right. So we want to know the maximum and we want to know the midline and the minimum, these are all basically given to us, okay? And so what we're gonna try to do is model this as a sine function. So let me just reverse that a bit. Okay, so in our sine function, we have these parameters. A is the amplitude, um, B is the frequency, um, T is our, variable for time. Um, and then this is phi, which is the phase shift, and C, which is the midline. Okay, let's run the wheel. And we'll let it go for two cycles, which would be one minute, two revolutions per minute. All right. And so these numbers we can get with our given information. So let's just take a look at this. Because the diameter is 52 and it's five feet off the ground, the radius then is 26. So from the midpoint to the, from sorry, the, the minimum, which is five, to the midpoint, is 26, so five plus 26 is 31. And then to get to the maximum, uh, we add a 26 again, get to 57. Okay, now let's run it for 50 seconds. These are speeded up seconds. Okay, and we come to 50 and it should stop. All right, so we're somewhere there in the 40s. All right, so now let's see if we can put these parameters into the sine function. And then if we can do that, all we need to just calculate the deal. Okay. So 26, this is the amplitude, which is the radius. Okay, uh, the distance from the midline to maximum. Okay. Um, the parameter B is just two pi divided by the period. And we said the period is 30 seconds. You can see it, it does a full cycle every 30 seconds. Okay, T, we will be putting in 50 there. And the phase shift now is if it's a sine curve, okay? The sine curve would have normally here at the midpoint, okay? So we've shifted to the right a quarter of a cycle, okay? So we shifted to the right a quarter of a cycle, and that's 7.5 seconds, quarter of 30. So we have T minus 7.5, and then the midline is the C, and that should be clear. That's 31. Okay, we have everything we need now. All we need to do is calculate that. So the height at 50 is 
equal to 44 feet. All right. I hope that was useful. And let me know if you have any further questions. By the way, you could have used the cosine there because the cosine is basically um, just a shift of the sine curve. And so maybe that would be a good thing to try. See if you could uh, write that as a cosine curve. Should get the same answer. Okay, that's all. Thank you.